Welcome back everybody, today we're defeating the Crucible Knight Ordovis and the regular Crucible Knight because it's a double boss fight in Orisa Heroes Grave. So, first of all, before we jump into the fight, let's talk about the defen their defenses. Because <laughs> it's actually very important in how to deal with these guys. So, they have physical resistance, 35%, kind of high. Magic and Holy is at 40%, so magic and holy damage is not going to work too well. Fire and Lightning is at 20%, and then they have most resistances at 252, except for Hemorrhage and Death, which they are immune to, so Bleed is not going to work in this fight. So, with these resistances, even though I know that the Wiki says that they are strong versus Scarlet Rot and Frostbite, that is a lie! <laughs> they are not strong versus Scarlet Rot and Frostbite, both because their resistances are not that high, and also because you can hit both of them at the same time with Dragon Breaths. I recommend using any dragon breath you can oh except for the one which does magic the smarao glintstone breath because of course they have very high magic resistance but fire works against them they only have 20 percent fire resistance if you use ex excuse breath or rotten breath that's also gonna work or if you use frostbite if you use the dragon eyes which is my favorite and the one i'm gonna use in this video that's also gonna work out great because you're essentially doubling your damage because hitting both of them you can trigger frostbite you can trigger scarlet rot Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's just jump into the footage. So, here we are. For all the double boss fights, I recommend very much that you pick up a tanky Spirit Ash. Best one, the tankiest one, by the way. Spoiler warning, is the Mimic Tear Ash. And if you want to level it up to level 10, there's going to be a link down in the description on a guide on how to pick up all the Ghost Glove Wards. So, with that being said, also... Another thing, which is essentially good against every boss in the game. But if you can, if you can spear an Ash of War and have Bloodhound Step, that helps, especially in this, these kind of cramped uh, places where you need to get away quickly. So, we also have Bloodhound Step for this fight. Immediately when you get in, of course, summon your Mimic Tear Ash. And the goal is to get both the Crucible Knight and the Crucible Knight Ordobis to target your Mimic Tear Ash. So, Bloodhound Step away. Try to get this type guy to target them, okay? You can get them a little bit there with the ex 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 breath. <laughs> Can't pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? Now they're both aggroing here. Perfect. Spray time. Dragon eyes. And look at this damage. It is pretty good. <laughs> As like... It's like two and a half thousand. I mean, this is not, it's not insane or anything. But it, it is pretty good. When you can hit both of them. Uh, oh my god, and there we triggered Frostbite, okay. And that, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Yeah, run away from these guys. Standing behind the pillar, by the way, won't save you, but if you are, if you have blood on it's kind of easy to dodge their attacks. They're kind of well telegraphed, I would say. So try to get them. So aggro the Mimic, both of them again. Just keep Bloodhound stepping away until they both target your Mimic. And your Mimic is tanky enough to hold these guys for kind of a long time. As you can see, they don't have super much HP and they don't deal an insane amount of damage. I mean, you can fight these guys very early, I know. So at that point, that might be considered a lot of damage. But if you're some kind of mid to late game character, this should be uh, kind of an easy fight for you. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. At least with this threat. At least with this threat, right? But don't forget, when you've killed these guys. Up and down, up and down, up and down. 